Today on The Joy of Editing, I'll be looking at Topaz Photo AI's latest update. This is version 1.3.8. It's a small update, but I'll also cover something that was an important addition to last week's update, version 1.3.7. That's coming up next on The Joy of Editing. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. This will be a quick video today. We're going to look at the new update uh, for Photo AI version 1.3.8. Plus, I want to go over something that they changed in the last update, which is kind of important. I want to show that to you today. On the screen now, you can see the changes in this new version 1.3.8. I'm not going to read them all to you, but you could pause the video and read these out. But what I really want to show you today is they added three and five times scales to audit pilot settings and preferences. I'm going to show that to you. And now what you're seeing on the screen is last week's update version 1.3.7. Again, you can pause and see what they've changed in that update. But what I want to go over today, and I want to also give you a tip with this feature, they've tweaked the autopilot to recommend the lens blur sharpen model in cases where they found they should perform better. So I want to show you that and also a tip. And now here we are inside of Topaz Photo AI version 1.3.8. First, let me show you the new feature that has been added here in this update. And you're going to find that by coming up here to Topaz Photo AI in the menu, clicking this and clicking on preferences. And then under autopilot, if you come down here, see where it says auto upscaling. Right now I have mine set to enhance small images, but if you click this, this is a drop down. You could set an output size. Say for instance, you may want to upsize your images to a certain size all the time. And what you can do is you can set an output size. So if you click this, you have options here. And here's what they added. Before they only had two times, four times, or six times. They added three times and now five times. So you could recommend any one of these upscaling sizes if you want to. And once you pick a size, just click save. In my case, I set mine for uh, enhanced small images. So you could do what you want there, but after you change things, just click save. Okay, so now I want to show you the feature from last week, where if we open up the sharpen module here, we can see that Photo AI has recommended lens blur for me, and I'm using a raw file and I'm using autopilot settings, and it's telling me the image has a lens blur issue. And if you look on the left, I'm in the side-by-side uh, -side view, you can see that image is kind of on the soft side, and on the right, it's done a really great job of sharpening it up. Now, to give you some background, I'm using a RAW file, and I have no subject detected. And that will be important when I show you my tip, so remember that I did not detect a subject here. And this is something new. Photo AI since 1.3.7 now will recommend the lens blur model if you have a lens blur issue. Now, when it comes to motion blur, I don't think they've addressed that yet. If you know that they have, let us know in the comment section below. But that's probably something that they'll add in the near future in an update. I'm using the side-by-side -side view. So you can see the image on the left. The original is kind of on the soft side. So it definitely does have a lens blur issue. And on the right, Topaz Photo AI has done a fantastic job of sharpening it. Now, as you'll notice, I am using the autopilot settings and Photo AI has determined I have a lens blur problem and it's given me a strength of 38. Now, I can always change this. And as I said, I have no subject detected, okay? Now, here is where I have a little bit of a problem. And I think this is a bug in Photo AI. Let me know in the comment section if you're having this issue as well. But right now, there's no subject detected. So let's go ahead and click Select. And let me just click on Default. And Photo AI will pick the flower. And I'll just click Apply. So now it's only going to apply that to the flower. But I want you to notice something here when I open up the Sharpen module. But also notice the flower is no longer sharp like what's going on there, okay? This is where I think there's a bug. So if I open this up, you'll notice now it's chose the standard model, but initially when I had no subject detected, it chose the lens blur model. So now if I click on lens blur, and now we just have to wait a second or two for Photo AI to update. 
And once it updates, I want you to notice something. Now, the lens blur strength has changed to 8. It was 38 before. I'm going to go ahead and drag this back up to 38 because I thought that looked really good at 38. And we'll give it a second to update. And now it looks good again. And now here is my tip. In the menu bar, click on Topaz Photo AI and then click on Preferences. Make sure you click on Autopilot. And then in this area, Subject Detection, this is a drop down. Right now, mine is set for none, and I'm going to recommend that you set yours for none as well. So click on the drop down. If you don't have yours set for none, you'll find it here in the drop down. Now, you have a choice of default portrait or landscape, and I don't think that really makes sense because we're shooting all types of images. You may shoot a portrait one day, a landscape another day, a flower image another day. You know what I mean? So it's always going to be different. So it makes sense to keep this on none. So click on none and click save. As you recall, when I first brought my image into Topaz Photo AI and it ran its autopilot settings on it and I had none as a subject detected, in other words, it was just looking at the entire image, it got it right. It found that I had a lens blur issue and it recommended a strength of 38, which I thought was really good and it did a great job. But then I decided I only want to have the flower in focus. It's a soft background, a soft bokeh background. So I don't want any areas back there sharpened in any way. I just want that flower sharpened. And then I just went up to refine and clicked on default for the subject and clicked apply. Now for this image, if you recall, when I opened up sharpen, it chose standard. And you can see right here, it's choosing standard. You can see that little green dot there saying it's recommending standard. However, when Photo AI initially scanned this image, it chose lens blur, which is what it needed when I had none selected as subject. And now here is my tip. Whenever you bring your image in, make sure you're using none as your subject. And if you like what Topaz Photo AI has recommended with the autopilot settings, jot down the model and all the settings for that particular model. And then if you want to choose a subject, go ahead and choose your subject. And if the model comes up different and the settings come up different, you'll be able to go and readjust it. Okay, so then you could switch it to, say, in this case, the lens blur model and just adjust the strength accordingly. So that is my tip, at least till they get this fixed. And I really think this is a bug. Well, there you go, everyone. Topaz Photo AI gets a new update, 1.3.8. Photo AI is going in a great direction, in my opinion. Topaz are constantly addressing bugs and adding new features to this product. I think it's getting better all the time. If you enjoyed the tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.